Hello and welcome to Great Hang, the greatest hang that's ever hanged. I'm your hang, Tim McLaughlin, coming to you with your other hang, Micah Fox. Hello, Micah. Hi, Timmy. How are you? I'm feeling so much better today. That's good. You know, Micah was sick for 27 days, Katzner. Yeah. We have a guest today. (laughs) Micah, would you like to introduce our guest? I would like to introduce our guest. Uh, Very excited to have him here. Very funny comedian, great man, Ben Katzner. Thank yes. you. Yes, recently wed. I am a great man. Let's there check out go. that hardware. Don't yeah, t- let's see the oh, ring, baby. This old thing, it'll never come off. My really? fingers are Is too small. No. Yeah, you gotta. That's all right. What do they say? You gotta put like a string under it or something. I don't I just, know. I saw that on a cartoon. I think. I just uh, lube it up and put it in my own ass. And I'm nice. Is that what the? I don't know. I'm trying to figure out what the vibe is, but you guys came in so nice to each other that I don't know. It starts that way. And then yeah. It, it, don't worry. You'll catch up. I just feel like I see the clips and it's always like, <laughs> Micah, I should burn you at the stake. And you're like, God damn. She is a witch. <laughs> She's always doing trickery and making me second guess myself with her witch tech. Tactics. I just know that it's I before E except after C. Witch! <laughs> <laughs> Micah was sick for 27 days, Benjamin. 27 days. They had to put her on the medicine they give to people who are in the hospital with pneumonia. Hey, are you okay? Don't you don't know. Oh. You still don't know. <laughs> I mean, that was the last time I talked to a doctor. They were like, in case it's pneumonia, here's this. Goodbye. Okay, that's fine. So any sort of, right now, how do you feel? Scale one to ten. I mean, I feel fucking great. So okay. like an eight. Nice. <laughs> what? What's you know, it? Right. Gonna... Your scale <laughs> confusing. Well, as fuck. I'm she does so much cocaine that I, that's where the ten I is. I know how great it could be. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Feeling anything is kind of a miracle for you at this point. Gotcha. I mean, usually I I think I'm a level six. A level. I, six. I just baseline, barely making it out of bed. Is this some kind of cocaine <laughs> thetan that you have, like a? Or what is a level six? Like you're always at a six. I'm always at a six. A le- oh. The level of six. six. What, yeah, what but, was confusing about that? Well, six to you is barely getting out of bed. But yeah. six to me is like, that's, yeah, that's like a, it's a slightly above, I'm good. That's fine. Yeah, six is pretty Six good. is like, I'm functional. Yeah. If yeah. I'm a three, I'm barely getting out of bed. Oh, okay. I love being in bed. So. Yeah, Micah does love being <laughs> like, in bed. I could be pretty good in bed. There are pretty, th- most of my levels are bed levels. Okay, I respect that. Yesterday so she texted me, I she was like, I'm in bed. And then she texted me, I'm going to the open mic. Couldn't believe that she got out of bed to go walk over to the open mic. Felt pretty guilty. I mean, it is a 15-minute <laughs> walk. Guilty. You felt guilty well, for leaving your bed? I was, like, housebound for 27 days. So then to feel okay and then decide to just also stay in bed felt a little, like, oh. um, take not taking advantage of being alive Sure. Okay. I see how you could feel that way. <laughs> you know? day, yeah. like, day like 18 into Micah being sick, we were watching My 600-pound Life, and she's like, Am I one of these people now <laughs> where I can't leave my home? And you just said these people because it was a black person? I I know. Dare you on our first episode of <laughs> Black History Month. Oh, no. Is that why I'm here? I had no idea. Wink. Okay. Here's the thing. I saw you recently, and you I didn't know you were sick. I would have never known. You not only were very funny oh, thank you. Uh, at Live from Outer Space, amazing show, your show. Clip uh, for, clip coming out soon <laughs> that I made and Mike still has not watched. Uh, I watched it from the back of the room and it was great. It was <laughs> seven minutes of you being like, "Hey, I think this guy fucks his dog." Which was, <laughs> cut it up, clip Maybe it up. I will watch that clip. It's hard to watch. Your, do you like watching your own clips? Not man? at all. It's, it's, it's hard. Worst. It's painful, yeah, it's right? Trash. It's bad. Because you're like, why is my hand doing that? Why? Oh my why, god! Why does my voice sound like that? Why aren't I funny? <laughs> yeah, no, definitely the last part. And I'm, I'm a big, I call it, you know, there's this like. Gesticulator? Yeah, I never did this until you got New Italian York. hands. Yeah. You moved to New York, got Italian firefighter like, hands. Hey, Moulin Young. <laughs> 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 Means right. eggplants. Yeah. <laughs> it's a little among, fun on, fact. among other things. Yes. Means eggplant, get out of my neighborhood. <laughs> uh. <laughs> yeah, these eggplants are lowering the property values. Uh, well, Katzner. Yeah, man. That's Yeah, I saw you. We saw you Friday, and I was like, hey, we got to get you on for Black History Month because I am an asshole. But we wanted to have you on the show anyways. It just happened to work out. And um, we refuse to have black people in any other month, so we got to do it now. Well, March is all women because it's the Women's March, of course. Now, would you... And, <laughs> I see what you did there. Would you have a black woman in March? 
Yes. Okay. But hopefully, Kinese. Well, that's wow. because that's <laughs> because it's smart. worse to be a woman than it is to be black, and I think we can all agree about that. <laughs> I've definitely heard people who look like you say that. Uh, <laughs> well, I only say Kinese because she's the smartest person I know. Interesting. Well, she's she, very smart. I do. She's love very Kinesis. smart. She dresses like an American Girl doll. She's got it all put together. She was on Jeff and I's show once, and Jeff and I were just like, "Uh, okay." And she's saying all this smart stuff, and we we're like. This isn't the vibe that we were trying to bring here. I was cackling from the other room. <laughs> yeah. I Jeff was like, Kinesis is really bringing it. <laughs> She's Jeff- really bringing the keeping Tim and Jeff shut up vibe. <laughs> was that at Stand Up New York? No, that was on that was on Zoom when Jeff and I oh. did our worldly show. Oh, yeah. I remember yeah. that show. Okay. So, I'm glad that's over. Yeah, well, we're bringing They're it bringing back. bringing it back. Fuck. We're do- <laughs> starting tomorrow. I'm going over to Jeff's house tomorrow. We're bringing a, a back an iteration of it, Tough Questions. Okay. Where Jeff writes tough questions and we have a guest on to answer them. What kind of tough questions? Will you- Can we get uh, a preview of that podcast? Well, here's or- a question he asked Dan Yang that I had to edit oh, out of the podcast. No. <laughs> Who do you think is smarter, women or trans women? <laughs> So that's that's like the kind of stuff that Jeff's bringing to the table on our tough question show. And Dan goes, Dan, I thought answered the question pretty well, but he goes, man, can you take that out of the podcast? <laughs> yeah. I don't, I don't want people. Wait, Dan of all people? What's, yeah, there's no way he answered it well. Well, that's well. What he, did he say? You I took the clip out, but you can pretend, you can tell us what he said. Uh, I'm like a gay Chinese guy, so um, that's I wouldn't a like. <laughs> no, I'm going to have to talk to Steph Curry and Clay Thompson about that. I actually don't know. Yeah, he's, can you take that out of this one, too? <laughs> yeah. no. No, he's like, it was, we took that clip out because he took a funny question and made it boring. <laughs> 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 so we're going to start doing that tomorrow, and hopefully it doesn't fizzle out like every single project Jeff's ever done, but... What I what I like about Jeff, this is Jeff Sheen. You said, oh, this right? is yes. going to be a friend quick. Of, this friend is going to be a show, quick Jeff segment. <laughs> <laughs> what I like about Jeff is that he gets a modicum of, of success. He's moving forward. He's like really building on his career, and he's like, "What can I do to sabotage that?" And oh, then you, he just starts asking ridiculous questions on a podcast so oh, everyone can see. I thought you yeah. meant start a podcast with Tim. Yeah. <laughs> Strike two. Yes. It, or go up at Cobra Club and be like, you know what I think we should do with oh the homeless? Oh, my God. Send them to jail. I'll take, although J- that is the thing Jeff and I do. I'll take pictures of homeless people sleeping on the train, taking up the full thing, and Jeff will just send me a text that says, jail. <laughs> <laughs> I've told this story on here, Ben, but I didn't tell you. There was a full shit on the train. Someone shitted. Yeah. On the top of the seat, down. It looked like someone threw a McDonald's. And you can make this stop by saying you've seen this episode. <laughs> I, I, I like can't someone, lie to the guy. <laughs> it was like someone threw a McDonald's chocolate shake at the chair. Yeah, who cares? Oh, and Tim horrible. knows that because he tried to lick it up. He's like, that <laughs> shit for sure. Matter of fact, that's one of mine. I got worms. <laughs> I see shit ever. You don't see shit ever. I literally yesterday, uh, 8 a.m. I was already late for work, so let's call it 8:25. Uh, <laughs> I was just walking up the stairs, an army of people just stepping around, human shit. That's just where. Every day. What? What, what stop is? Do? Step in it. What stop is this? Uh, the King. This is where I used to work. The King Street stop. Oh, so, okay. Uh, there's always one person who just. I don't know if that's even the right name of the stop. Whatever. Houston? Whatever. Yeah. Uh, someone just very clearly every day is like, I'm shitting right here. Yeah. It's like oh. um, it's like a dog, you know, where it like keeps returning to the same spot in the yard. Yeah. Oh, maybe it's a dog. What it, we mm. saw, we saw, well, Micah didn't see it, but it, you know, the, the 14th Street, 6th Avenue, where that, that yeah. like five minute walk from the L to the one train. Took it Why today. are you saying I didn't see it? I passed it multiple times. The the human, the human shit? shit in the corner. I Are was, you saying we did, we talked about that shit? But you didn't see it the first. You didn't months. see you didn't see it the first time when I saw it, and I was thrilled. I mean, I was this right here. It. This is this what is I wanted. No, 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 this is what no, I wanted. This is some fucking revisionist. I love this because we saw that shit together, and we peered over it and whiffed it like like we're lifting off a cloche from a menu a, item. It was What's a, a cloche. <laughs> yeah, secondly, I gotta stop you there. So first of all, you French bitch. Secondly. Wrong oh, again, oh, wrong oh. again, bozo. I was the only Jacuz. one. <laughs> I was the only one that saw it. Maybe I listen. I think I have like the worst memory ever. Tim, Tim's every memory time mem- is something funny happens, and then his memory is he did the funny thing. Right. Sure, it is. Yeah. <laughs> it's credit. Yeah, that makes well, I'm sense. I'm a narcissist. Yeah, so I feel like it should go that way. 
I just like that this you're you're like no, this was a huge moment for us. We whiffed in shit. It oh, was no. like a romantic fun thing we did. It oh, was God, like that's... it was like a shit that someone made that you could like buy at the store. It was incredible looking. Oh, it was like pristine. Yeah, untouched. Yeah, just a, it wasn't like a big sloppy pile of shit. It was oh. just like a nice. <laughs> that is good. It was luck. like a Spencer's gifts shit. Did you kiss it? It's good luck if you kiss it. No, I gave it a wink though. Ooh, I said, right. "I'll see you later, honey." <laughs> I said to the shit. <laughs> and guess what? He did. <laughs> I did. A few times. <laughs> Thrilled every time. No one that shit up for a while. You know, I walked past that same shit and there was cum all over it the last time. Oh, oh, crazy. Wow. I guess some cool <laughs> bandit got to it. <laughs> some super huge dick guy just came all over it. Wild. Probably. Oh. Who knows? <laughs> oh, speaking of coming all over stuff, this is a time of the show where we plug things. Are mm. you going anywhere? Uh... I'm going to the Comedy Attic in March to feature. So Comedy Attic, I was just there. It was uh, great. Connor Del Hante is headlining. Was You're featuring for Connor? <laughs> yeah, baby. Oh, oh boy. No. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. I like it. I don't know. Okay. No, you're going to have fun. Connor's great. Yeah. That'll be a great show. If you listen to this podcast, which I know Connor does, but if you listen to this podcast, go see Connor okay. and Ben at the Comedy Attic. That's a great show. What are, what are those dates? Uh, I think it's the first weekend of March. Like the, the first third weekend and of March. Fourth or fifth or something. That's first great. Weekend. That'll be great. That'll be super fun. You, have a great you guys time. have one month to get your tickets. To get see your tickets Connor now. and Ben in live action. Yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yes. Can we clip that? Yeah, we can clip yeah, we that. Can clip I can clip anything you want. Yeah. Just pay Tim $30 a clip. <laughs> okay, I think we're good. Actually, I'll just remember it. I'll just do it later. I'm recording too, so we're good. Uh, anything else? Uh, you know what? Just I have a graphic novel called Hello, My Name is Poop. It's great. Whoa, it's about a really? kid. I do. And it's about a kid who gets poop based superpowers. So, I mean, if you liked all this coming on shit talk, it's not that gross, but it is, you know, in the realm. It's for kids mostly, but it's. It's got cool pictures and shit, so check it out. Nice. Tight. That's it. Uh, any, what are your social medias, man? At Shaq Katzner on everything. Instagram, Twitter, YouTube. Pornhub. K-A-T-Z-N-E-R. Nailed it, baby. Got Shaq it. like the basketball player. There you go. Micah? Yeah. You know, come to Life from Outer Space every Friday night. Yeah. We had Ben Kastner fucking crush it up there. Great show. Sometimes we have Tim fill in when somebody doesn't get up. <laughs> yeah. You know, and I'm I, I always do a good good goddamn job. Hell God yeah. damn it. <laughs> Nailed it, Tim. Shut up. <laughs> Shut uh, the fuck it, up. You know, and follow me on my goddamn socials. And most importantly, you know, give us a review. We don't put that in our plug section, but the reviews have been kind of sad. I don't know what's going to happen in reviews this week, but it's not going to be good. No? no. So give us give us a review for the show. I have some shows coming up, but I don't need to plug them because I have other outlets. Tim. All right, I have a show tomorrow. Oh, it's already sold out, so never mind. <laughs> Was it at Madison Square Garden? No, I'm doing Spit Roast. I just got added to what it. What the fuck? It's oh, a Louis yeah. J. Gomez joint. <laughs> yeah. You get to roast a, 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 a pop culture person. So I'm tomorrow I'm roasting. Uh, tomorrow, I don't know who I'm roasting. It could be anyone. Interesting. Louis, in all of his geniusness, is like, well, have it be like it's... Um, like randomizer and then you're just going to be roasting a random celebrity who isn't there i'm like you think that the audience thinks that everyone wrote jokes for hundreds of celebrities hoping yeah. that it would land on one person yeah I, I, it's the it's the idea that it's it, it comes off the top of your head so he's like who's it gonna be and then everybody pulls their phone out and they're like um uh, blah blah blah. so i'm doing megan hall the chick that got uh for her back blown out by all those cops Oh, you know what? I never really got into that story. I didn't get into <laughs> it either. <laughs> they got into her, well, but I never got yeah, into no. the story. Oh, my man, I'm gonna go. keep, I'm gonna use he's that. He's gonna use that. He only he only needs five jokes, and he's got three <laughs> left now. Yeah, I didn't get into it either, and you I think it's it. because it's missing some intrigue. It's like, yeah. wait, so a girl, so a lady cop just banged a bunch of other cops? Like who? Who actually yeah. cares? Cops are doing a lot more interesting shit these days. <laughs> what do you think? About interesting this? is an interesting word. I, what do you think I, about I tiptoed this joke? around it. <laughs> Will Megan you? Hall's pussy has been beat up by so many cops it changed its name to Tyree Nichols. Jesus fucking Christ. Is that good? That'll do great there, but you did ruin our friendship. <laughs> <laughs> worth it. Now, yeah. I'm going it, up against... It's time for the worth it moment of the week. <laughs> <laughs> See, here's what... Here's, this is where I want your opinion. So I'm going up against Andre uh, D. Thompson. Yeah. Oh, he'll destroy you. Right. And but he's more that, handsome than you. Well, of And course. he's better at comedy. Right. And taller. Oh, more is he? Famous. More yeah. famous. More famous. He gave me a ride recently. I didn't tell you about it. That for was reasons. nice. Didn't tell you about it. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, you go ahead and say your thing. Okay. 
So <laughs> I was going to say that Megan probably will Hall- live longer too. Go ahead. Yeah, oh yeah, he'll for sure live longer. Megan Hall has been beaten up by so many police. You'd think that she was in uh, Andre's family tree. Which one's better? Uh, I think that one probably will hit less, but it's, I respect you more for it. Uh, I don't know. I think I, the other I, one's probably punchier, but sadder. I, I thought the Tyree Nichols one, because all the Legion of Skanks people are fucking Yeah, real you can't pieces. do this for me. I'm a soft little right. baby bitch. You got to do it for Lewis, who probably comes to that shit. So. <laughs> I don't know. Lewis, I think... Lewis, who tweeted that Last of Us was too gay. <laughs> yeah, no, sure. It's like, dog, sure. shut up. I mean, uh, um, how you feel? And then, so there's that's tomorrow. That's sold out. And then. Um, is this coming out? Tomorrow. Oh, shit. And uh, today, oh, if you're watching. March it 9th through the 12th, I will be at uh, Rosemont Zanies with Shane Torres, wow. friend of the show, Shane, Tor- Shane Torres. And then I think. That's great. They just kind of let anybody do it up there, huh? Yeah, yeah. As long as Shane's like, listen. She buddy, made him. Buddy. Shane's like, he needs this. He's like a sad guy. <laughs> I let him do my clips, and I kind of told him if I let him do my clips, he can, you know, do If I some let him comp- do my clips. Yeah. You do Shane's clips? <laughs> yeah. God. See, I think there's a misconception. Maybe I just always felt this way. I always felt like you were the moneymaker, and then you did pretty much nothing to because so you, you told have me this. It correct okay yeah but you're out here doing other people's clips yeah. you're working at the bowling alley yeah you're what, doing comedy I mean, the list of accomplishments <laughs> goes on and on <laughs> what doesn't this man do i mean i have to make at least a third of the rent okay so i have to do like a third of the work yeah. That, I have to do some work. Now, I'm not doing hard work. I, I, okay. I but I have that. to do a little bit of work to make enough money to support um, no one or nothing. But I still have to yeah. try. Because this is a nice apartment. I don't know how much. If you, you should do. Here's a little. 5200 that's not. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I was like, probably. I've never seen money before, so I have no idea. I was going to say, I don't know if the viewers have ever seen this apartment, but it's a great apartment. You know what I mean? So, like, the fact that you even let Tim, there's, can, the I, fact, can I say? There's yeah. two levels. Like, the yeah, fact that Tim know. even gets to touch the upper level is nuts to me. Well, mostly I, I keep him siloed down here in the basement. I yeah, I work at that little desk back there. Okay. Cl- clacking away on clips. <laughs> this one's for Shane. This doing one's for Shane's Lewis. Clips, doing all of Matt Ruby's clips right oh, now. Okay. So, it's been good. The clip game's been good. And then I think next week... Um, not, yeah, next week, uh, Thursday through Saturday, I think maybe it hasn't been confirmed yet, but I'm going to, I'll be up in Rochester, New York with Shane doing opening for him up in Rochester. So you're, you're taking Sam Evans's money now. I think Sam's been doing too well. (laughs) I think he's not in life. obviously. Well, no, no, he's so fucking sad. No, but I think his, uh. I think he's been doing really well with, uh, like, at the cellar and getting sure. a whole bunch of other stuff where it's not worth him going up to Rochester with Shane for three hundred and fifty dollars. Sure. Shane's like, "Give me a fucking loser, in here. yeah, <laughs> brother, someone who I can follow for sure, and ha- who's not busy." Tim's like, "I need at least fifty bucks and a meal." Yeah, <laughs> and honey, I'm here for it. Shane's like, "I'll give you forty. <laughs> <laughs> so those are my plugs. Hey, that's great, man. In the future, and Tim, I think we should put a time limit on plugs. Sorry. Like that that took a really long time. But that well, was we my don't, fault. We don't have the news today. Yes. We don't have a single news segment yeah, there today. There was no news at all today. Nothing there, happened. Well, we're not doing the news because on our latest Patreon episode, patreon.com slash great hang, which should have also been in the plugs, totally forgot about it. Still technically is. No, Go we're gone. We're out of the plug section. Sorry. But if you go to patreon.com slash great hang, Mike and I played Trivial Pursuit. On our latest episode, got rave reviews from the people on uh, Patreon. They said they loved it. Good. They loved listening to us. One guy called us clever brained. We say that instead of the R word. He called us <laughs> clever brained and uh, uh, then wrote again, being like, oh, wait, never mind. I haven't gotten a single question right since I said that about you guys. That's awesome. <laughs> I think that was Hayden. So. If you want to check that out, that's why there's no news. The, there was Tim, a bet. You, you have to do things in order. No, I don't. You get to the news segment, I don't and then you to... explain why there's no news. No, I don't. Because I'm already doing this other thing, oh, and I'm not so going to edit it. 
Like, it's so much f- fucking buildup in this podcast for everything. It's like, let's just get to the meat. Let's get to the chunks, you know? Micah, this podcast is 90% buildup and 10% chunks. <laughs> the podcast is all buildup, you fucking idiot. No, it should be mostly chunks. No. No. And I did not make a jab at, Kastner, at Katzner, which I was going to. About chunks? Yes. Oh. Oh, okay. I wasn't even thinking about it. I am genuinely turned on right now. This is... <laughs> I can't even. I was like, yeah. He loves the white all white crime. But there was a bet. We made a bet. If I won, I'd get to do two news segments. I hate the news segment. The issue is I hate the news segment okay. because Tim, it's Tim's segment. Yeah. And he picks terrible news stories and he can't read. And so. <laughs> I do remember that you can't read. Yeah. And so it's just a double read dose of torture. Very poorly. Okay. So I'd rather you just didn't read. You right. I, mean? I do a good job reading when I'm. <laughs> When I do like a character, and I'm just like, and then she said to the guy, like, if I do a voice, I can read way better. Yeah, I'm not picking it up there, but I <laughs> I respect that you, I like the attempt. So Micah won, which means there will be two weeks without the news on the podcast. So you just want to, you don't, you don't replace it with anything? You don't want two segments? No. You got to advocate for t- yourself, girl. I knew t- I advocated for myself by getting rid of the news. That was the advocation. <laughs> sure. Do you have any idea how happy I am that this segment is not going to exist two times in a row? I you do thrive when Tim is like lesser or like hurt or lower. Than People you. are upset that the news is gone. Nobody there was cares. there is an outcry Nobody on can't the read. Patreon. This is our first one without news. How can anyone be mad? No, it? because one Picking of the, the vibe of it. One of the Patreon people said, "Oh God, no! I love the news." One people person love- is people. Yeah, people love the news. Also, that person was made up. <laughs> was, yeah. No, I'll show you that. I'll Tim show you it right. Oh, oh no, the news should be here. Also, wow, Tim is right. hot. I'll show yeah, you. Yeah, we need to hear about the world's largest yogurt parfait. That would be pretty interesting. A, no, you? it's all in the headline, and then that, it's over. Okay, that felt like a euphemism. Here we go. Not. But but I love the news segment. Sad face from Jessica Palma. Jessica Palma, you love to watch me get mad at Tim, which is not the same as loving Palma? the news segment. Yeah, Jessica, you fucked up. You really drove a wedge into this. Jessica, I think you're a great person, and these two fucking idiots <laughs> don't know what they're talking about. Thank you for subscribing to the Patreon, and if you want to subscribe to it, go to patreon.com slash great hang. All right. Let's get to hot takes. No, we got to punch up a bit if Kat- oh. Katzner has oh, a new sorry, bit. Yeah. I always forget Do you have that a new bit just... that you're working on, Katzner? Here's a bit I'm working on that doesn't... Do people like this? It's my favorite segment. It's okay. Mike's favorite. We don't listen. I love doing the news. <laughs> I don't give a fuck what people like. That's fair. That's fair. That's fair. <laughs> um, Tim, you're such a piece of shit. What? Let's she was hear just, the bit. She was just saying in general. Oh yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'm what a piece of shit you are. It's funny. So I have a bit about. Uh, have you guys ever heard of? I don't. Uh, the private score song or no no score song. Yes. It's like stop. Don't touch me there. These are my no no squares. Whatever. I've heard you I've okay. heard you talk about it. You, so, I've never heard it before that. Okay. Is it a real song? Yes. I think it, it was Go on up. go on TikTok. There's a bunch of And where did you learn this? Song? I learned it from my wife who oh. uh learned it when she was way too old to learn it. She was like teens you're supposed to learn it when you're a child <laughs> they did not care about their daughter. i think this it was is... made up i think i'm gonna be honest i think it was made up by a pervert that wanted to watch little kids touch themselves yeah honestly the phrase no no square is something i would search in Pornhub. Oh. <laughs> okay micah first of all the the other week micah said that she goes is 16 like an appropriate age for what did you say it wasn't the other week it was two days ago <laughs> and i said that 16 years old was an appropriate age to role play during sex <laughs> do you think that's true? I think that's not true. I'm going to give you a chance to clarify. Do you mean, as a 16-year-old, you're old enough to role play? Or do you mean, no, hey, Tim, adult, I want you to be a 16-year-old? Tim, I want you to be a saucy 16-year-old. Pretend oh, you're dude, that's school. tight. Hold on, let me grab a pack of cigarettes and cough. <laughs> so, oh, no, I have marinara sauce all over my shirt. Someone could come lick it up if they wanted to. Yeah. That's... Tim still has that shirt. Yeah. <laughs> 16 to 36, nothing's changed in 20 years. I don't. I think I would be weird about that, but you if that's, that's what you like, that's it's not. not, I'm not that's good. not what I like. What do you like? <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm glad you asked because Tim never has once. That's I'm why I'm here. Trying, actually, I'm not trying to know. <laughs> <laughs> Some things should remain a mystery. <laughs> 
We're coming up on four years. Maybe for my fifth I- or fifth anniversary, I'll tell him what I like in bed. I'll take her. I'm going to take her somewhere loud. What? <laughs> so then I don't hear it. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> We're going to go to like Dave and Buster's or something. And she's like, you know, I like it. And I'll be like, yeah, uh-huh. Keep shooting the baskets. See, you play dumb, but there's a lot going on up no, there. He's sometimes. trying to get me to Dave and bust all over him. Hey, yo. <laughs> okay. What the hell? <laughs> and and anyway, back. I don't I just think it should be fine to pretend people pretend to have incest. It's not okay to do incest, but you pretend to have incest. You okay. pre- you role that's a part of role playing. Role playing to be younger is not a problem. Fucking someone younger is. Yeah, but like imagine like fu- Fucking Imagine a there's no age limit. <laughs> it's it's easy. easy if you're in Virginia. <laughs> <laughs> How do I'm just saying like fucking a six year old role play wise like and, and sixteen year old. I don't want your mumble mouth to get me into trouble with six year old shit. I said six. Sorry, sixteen. Okay. Sure. Yeah, God. I'm sorry, not six. That's gross. Sixteen. You know. Yeah. Barely the age of consent. Hey, Katzner, do not days. apologize. <laughs> do not fall for her is weird that trick this is? where now you're the bad guy. I don't know. She nagged me and then I just <laughs> fell into her web of lies. I don't know what happened. I'm just saying, wh- why si- what's that age? That's a weird age. That's a be- That person can't fuck. You want to pretend fuck someone who can't fuck? That's well, not I even can't a fun. either. So if it's 16, oh, it's so fine. So it's just like accurate for yeah. what's happening. Just, I don't, listen, I don't know why someone would want to do it. I just don't think it's a problem if they did. <sighs> I, okay, I guess if they did it and no one else ever found out, that's fine. I think it's weird. And no if one else did. ever no one found. Ever, you could do it in your mind, and you'd be like, "Hey, we're gonna role play." And then you'd be like, "What do you want me to do?" And you'd be like, "Don't worry about it." But in your mind, you're like, "You're 12 or you're whatever you to, like." You're trying to make shit illegal that is happening inside someone's head. He's pre. He's pre, he's like a pre cum, like a pre cog. This is. Some I was yeah, trying to work. This is some fucking bullshit. I no. I, I see. I see you your know logic. How many people I've killed in my mind. I'm yeah. not on death row right now, brother. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Clip that and then send it to the police. Get her out of here. Uh, yeah, if you want to fuck a 16-year-old in your mind, go ahead, Mike. I'm, you know Thank I support you. you. You know I'm a fan of yours. So, so anyways, we were talking about these no-no squares. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there's the last part of the joke that I'm having a hard time with. I think you just touched on it. was like, so here's what I say. Because it's like a whole song and a dance, okay? And I'm like... If I was a child predator and a kid started singing and dancing in front of me, I would be like, see, I knew you were special. And nobody likes that. That's just the end of the joke. <laughs> that doesn't seem. It, it, well, I feel, I feel like that's pretty good. I feel like it's the audience's fault. You know what you could do is make it more like um, groomer stage person being like, if, you know what? I think we could really take this act far. Come, come work with me. We'll get your photos sh- done. We'll do some, you know, like, like train. You know, like how you train like child actors, and then you, you just want me them. to molest a child. And that's you what you fully them. want yeah. me to do. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or you could, or you could go the but other no, way. No, that's your punchline. I knew you were special. Don't turn that shit around on me. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what? Not what I knew you were special meant. Uh, no, that's what it. I mean, you're the child molester. Oh, I see. Okay, well, the dance is so sexy. You heard it here. Char- charge is cleared. I'm good. The dance is so sexy that the child molesters already come, so they don't need to fuck the kids. Is oh, that, now is that something? Now, sing it. <laughs> that's a turn. Sing it slower. <laughs> 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 I hate who I am when I'm with you two. Uh, <laughs> you can go be a good person later. Just fucking. You got, Before you got, this podcast started, I was a great man. Yeah. Remember that. You got yeah. 20 more minutes, and then you can go back to being a nice guy. Actually, that's. I do kind of. That's a little bit different thing. Where it's like, all right, I came, and I just. Leave. <laughs> that's funny. That's good. Okay. It's. I think part of it too is like, it's not very. That's not like the type of joke I usually do. Yeah. So I think sometimes people are like, what? Wait, you should make a song for the molester to sing back to them. (laughs) How would that go in your mind? Like, hold on. It's okay. I'll touch you in this port shed or something. (laughs) Hold on. It's okay. (laughs) Come here. Come here for a minute. (laughs) I have a dog. I have a dog in my car. Just a kiss. Just a little remix. <laughs> Just a little kiss. Just a little kiss. Yeah. Come on, you're 16. I'm my, whatever age Micah is. It's totally normal <laughs> to her. No one knows. <laughs> mid. <laughs> I'm mid. 
Yeah. Oh, honey, we know. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh, speaking of mids, I found a shit ton of weed on the ground yesterday at the, on the train. I don't know. Wait. It, uh, it creeped me out, too, but it smells Micah, real Micah, go good. get it and show cats. The way you Where said is it? it. I'll go get it. Where is it? Is it a bag of weed? I don't know okay. that you okay. want to. Isn't this monetized? Can't you lose money showing weed on camera? I don't what? Know. No, it's I don't not know. Mon- <laughs> I'm not we successful. Also, I don't know how podcasts work. We don't have enough uh, subscribers on YouTube to be monetized yet. Also, if you're watching this on YouTube, subscribe and leave a comment. <laughs> hey, why don't you smash that like button? <laughs> Hit the bell for notifications and go um, ahead and subscribe. Uh, it really helps the channel grow. I mean, anyway. all of that is true. <laughs> it, it is true. I think we've lost listeners to YouTube. How do you mean that? I think we have less listeners now, like on our audio listeners, than, and we're getting more YouTube views. So I think people have gone from listening to watching. That is a problem, some people. But look at all this do. fucking weed I right. found on the ground. This is nuts. <laughs> it's nuts. And also, should we smoke it for the first time on the pod in case it's like covered in like weird shit and I die? It fell out of yeah. a Yeah. It fell Give out the people what they want. <laughs> It fell out of a guy's pocket. Oh, uh, it's called the kitty cat. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Guys. It fell out of a guy's pocket as he was oh, getting off shit. the train, and I didn't know what it was. And then the, the next stop, I got up and looked. It was in this? Yeah, and it was in that. I don't know, man. This seems like some... It actually smells Dank like weed. it's probably really good. It's but yeah. really good. It just seems like... It's like seven grams of weed. It's like so much weed. What if it, What if he like killed his roommate and then like it was going to smoke him and that's what this that's is? That's exactly what oh, I thought. Oh, that's cool. That's like how high and then his roommate can help us with our tests. <laughs> <laughs> like yeah. in how high. Yeah. It was actually... Here, do you but want But that was my thing. But here's the thing. In my last apartment, there was weed that fell off about, like I found in the backyard. I smoked that to the last drop. I found a vial of Coke in the backyard. I snorted that shit. You just forgot all the things you keep dropping in your backyard? No. <laughs> no. We had like this, we had this guy that lived on the top floor who was like uh, a record, like a music guy. Mm. And I think they would put things on the edge of the, I think they would put things on the edge. Jesus right? fucking Yeah, Christ. I smelled it. And I, I don't so smoke str- weed. But they would true? put shit on the edge, and I think the wind would blow it off into our backyard. Because Coke fell into our backyard, and Micah did it and said it was the best Coke she's ever had. <laughs> you throw the empty baggie back up. You're like, yeah. oh, one more, please. Oh, I was like, how do I? We got to talk to these people. Yeah. You should have. Did you not talk to them? I, Tim met I him. They tried, to, they tried to bang him. I, they didn't oh, try to bad, bang me. They were being bad dickheads. Form. Uh, so we were drinking. It was Tom Takar, friend of the show, Kevin okay. Lobkovich, and myself. And we were all drinking. Is Kevin not a friend of the show? He has not been on the show. But is he a friend of yours? Yes, he is a friend of mine. I'm just curious. Go ahead. Continue. But he's not been on the show. So Damn, that's the, the gotcha moment It was just a week. weird thing. You're like, Tom Takar, we love him. I'd suck him off. I'd do anything for him. And then Kevin. Anyway. Kevin Lobkovich, Kevin Lobkovich uh, <clears throat> regular Lay's potato chip king. And friend of the show, he always brings Good. regular Lay's potato chips That's over funny. when he comes over. So Andy's our designated first arrival. Yeah, one time he was ten <laughs> minutes late to the party. I thought something grave had happened You're to him. Are you good? I thought he had. He was like, "Oh no, sorry, I just got a late start." I was like, "Kevin, you need to get over here now, or I'm gonna fucking lose my shit." It's like I couldn't find any regular Lay's to bring over. So I had to go across town. Um, but we were drinking, like, I think it was the end of this tequila, and they were upstairs, and they were like, hey, bring that up here. And I was like, I don't want to go up there. So we go up there, and then we're talking to the guy. <laughs> Tom and Kevin made me go up. So we're talking to the guy, and the guy's like, um, yeah, I'm a music uh, manager. I manage bands. Okay. And, I, and they, they were like, oh, what band? And he's like, you probably never heard of them. And I was like, Kevin knows every band. I bet Kevin's heard of them. Kevin knows like every fucking band. Okay. So I was like, I bet Kevin's heard of them. And he's like, no. I go, is it you too? I go, are you the manager for The Edge? And I kept naming you two people. And they are <laughs> already pushing you out of the door. <laughs> and, then, <laughs> and he was like, he's like, I, we really thought you had more tequila. And I go. Oh, you did? You wanted me to bring my free tequila up That's here? That's funny. I go, you guys are fucking lame. And then Kevin... You and- did not say you're fucking lame no. to them. No, I said that Michael was downstairs getting DP'd by a couple guys. I had to make sure... I had to make sure he that... He said black guys, but he didn't say black guys in front sure. of you because he didn't want to offend you. Sure. And that guy well, was like, oh, yeah, they're the people I manage. I also didn't say it in front of you because the next part was... Oh, boy. Because <laughs> I go, and I got to make sure they don't rob the place. <laughs> 
I mean, it's probably it was a nice apartment. I'm assuming. So I get it. And Kevin, Kevin and Tom were like, "What are you doing?" <laughs> It's funny that they would bring you into like a foreign social situation and expect you to behave. It was our That's apartment. Insane. It was yeah. It was no, but the, you went upstairs. Yeah, yeah but it's but, our complex. Like it's our neighbors. Yeah, at four in the morning too. Where and I had been drinking since yeah, like six. I would PM. never. I would if you were my friend, which we'll we'll get there. Acquaintances. Yeah. At the very four most. four in the right morning. Now. Talking to strangers, you're chained in a room away from people. <laughs> Never once do I allow you around new people until I'm like, hey, just so you know, we do have a Tim. Like, yeah. we, have a, we, have we have a, a feral Tim. Tim. <laughs> he's nice once you get to know him, but he's going to have to, you know, smell your hand and call yeah. you some slurs before he really yeah. opens up. <laughs> he lashes. He does like to lash he out a lash little. Out. <laughs> do not mention Joe Biden or Ron. Joe uh, Biden? Robinette? Damn. What's up? Robinette. I That's call him Robinette because I think his middle name is so gay. What's his middle name? Robinette. That's his middle name? Joseph Robinette Biden. You didn't know his middle name's Robinette? I just found out he's president. Oh. <laughs> I didn't know. Oh, speaking of finding out who's president, Mike has hot takes. We got to give a hot take. Hot take. Somewhere in the city. <laughs> You're the first one to, to oh. laugh at that, that <laughs> song. So wild. You're <laughs> one of my favorite people, hands down. All right. Uh, this is from um, Our Social Skills. Our Social So Reddit, so Social Reddit. Skills, okay. Um, do you think, now that I'm thinking about it, R is R for because no, of the people no, that no, use no, the website? No, 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 no. Okay. Yes. Um, sure. <laughs> no is question. it gay for a man to tell another man <laughs> good morning? <laughs> Is it gay for a man to tell another man good morning? That's the that's yeah. What this, that's crazy. Down. We all know the answer is yes. yes. Yeah, wait, hard wait, yeah. Wait, wait. we weigh in and then we hear the the argument. Does he also yeah. curtsy to the man? Yes or no? Is it gay, Tim? Does I say good morning to everyone and I ain't gay, so I got to say no. Yeah, all this jizz falls right out of his mouth. <laughs> like good morning. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> um, I am a twenty three year old male. My dad and I were out at the laundromat, and as we were leaving, another man walks in. Poor. <laughs> Did you say that, or is that in there? Mike has said oh it. Oh, my God. If they're you got to have sound cues. <laughs> Here's the thing. If you're not in New York and you are using the laundromat, you are so poor. Yeah, that's true. Which is fucked up because it costs so much money still. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> this is literally keeping me down. Okay, go ahead. Um, I make eye contact with him, and I say, Good morning. He replies, y'all fellas all right? <laughs> when we walked out, my father tells me, don't ever say good morning to a man around your age. Guys would think you're a little sweet. Is this your dad? <laughs> did, did, did you? <laughs> no, my dad says good morning to everybody. He loves uh, it. But say, also saying they might think you're a little sweet also sounds exactly like something your dad would say. No, he goes straight hard F. Really? Yeah, he doesn't, he doesn't no, beat around the on. bush. No, I don't know. Yeah. He may slander your know, father. You know yeah. who else doesn't beat around the bush? F words. Thank you. They keep it clean down there. Sure All there's right. a couple bears. Um, he, he goes, don't, they, guys who think you're a little sweet, you understand me? Next time say, what's up or what's going on? To a woman, it's fine, but not a man. When you're out on the streets, don't say that. What the hell? This is not <laughs> a thing. And then so the guy, kid goes, I don't understand this at all. When is it ever gay or wrong for a man to say good morning to another man? I say good morning to everyone, male and female, at work all the time, and I have no issues. Well, that's your work people. that You know them. Right. Well, that's what I think, too, right? And yeah. he also, like, works for MeUndies or some shit. <laughs> what do you what? mean? <laughs> Does he write that in there? What are you no, talking I'm about? Just saying. She's, she's, I'm just picking up a MeUndies yeah, you're vibe. Gonna, you're going to keep us from getting a sponsor. Yeah, she's the problem. I sure. think that's good. I think I'm on the side of MeUndies. Oh. <laughs> um, okay. MeUndies is uh, the gayest name for a company. Okay. Um, I think my dad is being absurd. Is it gay for a man to tell another man good morning? I would say no. But now that you've heard this poor laundromat story. No. Where do they live? What the hell? You can't. <laughs> first of all, you know my I stance. I think they live in Indianapolis. <laughs> <laughs> but you know my stance. <laughs> Signed, Tim. <laughs> uh, my stance, never say hello or talk to anyone that you don't know in public ever. 
You That's just, a good stance. It's you just said you, you say said. hi to everyone. Yeah, yeah, but at work and stuff. When I walk into work, I'm uh, real annoying at work. Like people come in, I'm like, Johnny, good morning. How you feeling, bud? Like, which is funny because you get to work at like eight eight p.m. I would assume. Uh, well, on Sundays I get there at eleven. And oh, really? Yeah, and on Mondays I get there at three p.m. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> like, good morning. Okay. Yeah. I say, yeah, I do say good morning to, like, the door guy at my job all yeah. the time, security guy. But that's polite. Do you think he thinks I'm trying to fuck him? No, I don't think, unless he's from Yonkers. He might be from Yonkers. Mm. I think this is like a, if you know a person, you say hello to them. That's just social skills, right? I've but never a heard. a stranger. I don't, I've I never do heard say. this. I, I also don't think it's gay. <laughs> I well, think that's it's good. just good morning. Do yeah. You, do you think... I think you shouldn't talk to strangers. I would agree with gay. that. Yeah. <laughs> Talking to him or thinking that? You'd be like, how could you tell him he's on fire? Are you a homo? <laughs> I will... I do do this, though. I, I do, do tell... Do. Okay. I tell people that they're... Still got it. I tell people that their camera light is on on the train, like if their camera light is on. Yeah. And that's... Then what, let me guess. They get really mad at first. And then who then the they, fuck I wanted it on? And then they realize that you're helping. Yeah. That's look, every... I'm trying to look at this woman's pussy. Some perverts on Jesus the train. Jesus Christ. Did you know that in the community, that's code for like, hey, come fuck me between the train cars. Did you know that? You're like, hey, your camera light's Wait, on. Wait, really? The black community? Go... No. Oh. What community are you talking about? <laughs> He's making black shit up so that we'll fall for it again. <laughs> again. <laughs> Never again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's a, that's a fun. Maybe his dad. Here's my thought. Like, maybe his dad just panicked because his dad had, like, fucked that guy before. <laughs> and he's on the DL. Yeah. And he's like, wow. you don't talk to people here. We're doing laundry. We're not talking to Greg. He's like, how do you know Greg's name? You know? Yeah. <laughs> hey, dad, whose underwear is this? Shut your mouth. <laughs> Those are me undies. <laughs> Those are me undies. <laughs> They're me undies, mate. Fascinating. That's a good find. Damn. And now it's time for the greatest part of the show. We just do one of those? That's wild. Yeah. yeah. Well, we got well, so many segments. We normally follow it up with <laughs> the news. Probably. Normally follow it up with the news. Okay. But this week. Rest in peace, news. And you know what? Just because Jessica liked the news, that doesn't mean that if you don't like the news, your voice shouldn't be heard. Go ahead and file a, write in if you hate the news and it's your <laughs> least favorite. Comment. Segment. If file you're watching complaint. this on YouTube, comment underneath how sad you are that the news isn't on and I'll read it next week. Thank you. Or how thrilled. No, you cannot. Re- oh, you can read the comment, but you cannot read the news. Uh, read right. Next week. General. No more no news next week either. But we are to our be- the best segment of the show. Reviews for the podcast. This is where we go on oh Apple iTunes <laughs> and read the reviews people have left. We want people to leave five star reviews, but if they what they can leave whatever review their heart tells them. We have no reviews this week. Oh, Wait, and- come on. Okay, good. I was gonna say mine didn't go through yet. Perfect. Oh, did you <laughs> and we don't have any com- we didn't have any comments on this last week's video except for Micah's. Oh, the comment I left? Yeah, that was the only comment we had. Great episode, this. gang. No, yeah. I was making fun of Tim. Oh. Nice. Well, I don't remember what you said. Let me In your description of the thing, you said... Let's see. This one's called The Nastiest Episode, and this was the little thumbnail. It's me taking my shirt yeah, off. Yeah, I see. And uh, I let's don't see love here. That. Let's see what we Do got. You oh, it's no just you two? Oh, we have a comment. We literally got a comment. Oh, it's yes. very right long. Kadsner? <laughs> right in under the wire. It is from Steve Bala. I have Hell not yeah, read Steve. it. I don't know That's what it me. says. Hopefully something cool. Please not the N-word. Hey, Please guys. Not the N-word. I don't use iTunes, so I thought I'd leave a comment slash review here. Yes. I hope Typhoid Micah is feeling better. <laughs> she is, Steve. Thank you. Thanks, Steve. I love the podcast. Been a big Micah Fox fan ever since I discovered her on Keith and the Girl. Shout oh, out wow. Keith and the Girl. And now Dang I'm dang. a huge fan of Tim. What? Tim oh. Smith? What's Tim? No, shut Tim, up. Tim Pool. <laughs> the other Tim that no, looks exactly not like Tim you. Tim Pool. <laughs> Tim Meadows? We all love Tim Meadows. <laughs> That's true. You guys give me something to look forward to on Tuesdays. I'm in Northeast Ohio and would love to catch one of your shows if you ever come to Cleveland or a long shot Youngstown. Youngstown, very Italian. Uh, keep being a great hang. All right, cool. Yeah. Thank you, Steve. Thanks, Steve. Is that there a thing? Go. Do you guys say, and like when you sign off, you're like, and keep being a great hang? Or did he make that up? No, I always say, and have that's a pretty great good. rest of the day. But keep being a great <laughs> hang is good. <laughs> it's, Tim is um, terrible. <laughs> he thinks he's like Tony the Tiger. <laughs> that's full stop. Oh, great. <laughs> Why would you say? Okay. I think I've told this story on this podcast, but oh, Tim good. Smith oh. and I. Perfect. 
Tim Smith. How and many I were... stories have you already told on this podcast that you told them. on this episode? Do you know Tim Smith? Yeah, you met him in uh, at, at the Laugh Factory. He has gray hair. He looks like me, kind of. They look so oh, yes, similar. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, he's a so, little hotter. He is a little hotter. So we were at. Um, oh no, that guy's way hotter. Yeah, but anyways, a little bit of way way hotter. Either way, <laughs> he, either way, he's hiring me. So <laughs> we were at the Laugh Factory. We were doing the Sunday show, and this was I was in town visiting, and uh, I bombed, did bad on the Sorry, Sunday man. show. I always, I always bomb that Sunday show. I always bomb over there. But Tim, they keep putting me up. That's they keep putting me up. They like me over like there. You. But the other shows, great sets. That Sunday show, fucking bombed. Tim Smith goes up, kills. This woman comes out after the show. She goes, oh, my God, I loved you. You were my favorite one. I loved you so much. And then Tim comes out the door. She goes, oh, I meant him. And I go, nope. <laughs> nope. <laughs> You already said it to me. I get it. I, uh, this is for me now. Tim, in your heart of hearts, did you know what yes, happened? Yes, yes. Even as it was happening? Yeah. I knew she didn't mean me because I was like, when she's saying it, I'm like, there's no way she means me because <laughs> I fucking ate shit. I did so bad. I've been there. I've uh, My buddy Greg Coleman, who does not look, who is a hotter, ver- he's hotter than me. He's yeah. taller than me. He's slimmer. Uh, black dude talks about like, teaching and shit mm-hmm. and one time crushed destroyed i wasn't even on the show sitting in, sitting in like the bar at the club and this this guy comes out like dude the teacher material unbelievable <laughs> <laughs> and the way you just have to eat that and just be like thank you is honestly <laughs> still hurts me to this day i was at uh i was at straight up stupid it's a show that ike puts on it's, in indianapolis and he, uh, only books tim <laughs> no, I was just there hanging out, but everyone on the show, it's like an urban show in Indianapolis. Everyone on the show is black. Mm. And I was there hanging out watching the show. And this dude comes up to, there wasn't a single white person on the show. As it should be. There did, the, the dude comes up to me after the show. He goes, man, I thought you were fucking great. And I go, <laughs> thanks, dude. And this guy goes, we didn't have one honky bitch on the show. <laughs> I go, shut up. Don't take this from me. It was great. Why would he say that? That is funny. That's it great. was really great. Tim right. was in blackface. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's true. I oh. forgot. I did a little tap dancing up there, a little soft shoe. Working out your people. new closer. Um, Katzner, this is a time for you to shine. Oh, uh, you can't call sing- me. You can't say shine around me. Oh, yeah, that's true. <laughs> Not this Uh-oh. month. Um, fuck, think of a different uh, word. Think of porch monkey? Uh, oh, no. no, no, no. Is that one again? Oh, we're going to get right. demonetized. You have to bleep that. That's I can say it. That's too You words. can't let me not say porch monkey on yeah, Black History Month. That's crazy. Karen. Yeah, Karen. That's and, nuts. You're yeah. being a real porch monkey right now. Call well, the cops on him. He's g- we won't know what it, I'm being because we're going to be bleeping that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, ben, do you have either a fun party story... <laughs> or a tip for being a great hang. I got a tip for being a great. You oh, see good. me at parties, you know I'm not fun. Well, yeah, but something fun could just happen around you, you know, and like you could just kind of wander yourself into. You're not. You you're know not, I'm not fun. <laughs> you're not. You're not just, and you just let him eat that. Well, one. but he's not not fun. He I'm just. Not. But he just. He's there and he's funny at parties. Yeah, I'm not like. But he doesn't go wild. Like, he just. You know, people are like ooh. Bring a titty out or something. I'm like, oh, get a titty away from me. I'm not fun. I'm not fun. <laughs> I'm trying to. My goal. My, I'm always trying to find somewhere to sit down. Dog. That's what I'm doing at a party. <laughs> Say, if this doesn't work out, I got you. Yeah. <laughs> I, I'm trying to sit at all times in a nice little spot. Yeah. We uh, during the pandemic, I feel like we had a couple good sitting across from each other moments. Oh we were yeah. Always ham. Just fucked up completely. But <laughs> I liked it. Yeah, I will be like that. Uh, <laughs> I've been trying to slow my drinking down a little bit though. But what's your great hang tip? I think a good hang tip, great hang, good tip, uh, is if you're in like a circle of people and you know everyone, but you're with someone who doesn't know everybody, introduce them. Just be like, hey, this is Tim. Tim, this is Micah. She's going to hate you. Like, yeah, Tim, this is somebody else. Like, introduce everybody. Even if they – sometimes people will be like, well, we know each other. You don't know – I don't care. Just introduce them. Open it Smart. up, pick the vibe up. Introduce you know? them, give them a little yeah. quality about every yeah, person. Give them a give them an interesting <laughs> tidbit. Yeah. Like yeah. this is Tim. He can't read, and he's never made me come. <laughs> <laughs> they just needed one tidbit. They don't need two. But see how pick much one. 
I think the first. Like, I think the first one is fine. I feel like I know you better now. You know. So you give him the reverse yeah. Jeff Sheen, <laughs> because Wait. Jeff Sheen introduces oh, no one to nobody. Well, his throat is so skinny that he yeah. can't. There's it's yeah. hard for words and, to come and out. And even if the words do come out, his teeth will catch him like <laughs> <laughs> like krill. You know. Uh, like a reverse whale. That is a great tip, though. <laughs> reverse whale. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Unbelievable. Great you, podcast. Best podcast <laughs> on the planet. That's if you the know Jeff yeah. Sheen. Yeah. Yeah. This, this podcast is incredible if you know Jeff Sheen. He gets brought up on like every fucking episode. <laughs> He's been on three times. That's too many times. (laughs) He's the most guested person. Pamela Ross loves it when he's on. So we keep bringing him on for Pamela Ross. And everybody cares about Pamela Ross. I know I do. That's why I'm here. We do. Shout out. Shout out. Shout out Pamela (laughs) Ross. R.I.P. Marzipan. Uh, Shout out Pamela Ross. Hope you're doing okay. We love Pamela Ross. Um, Pamela Ross gave me a recommendation for a great book. I read it in one day. Thrilled. What was the book? My Year of Rest and Relaxation. Highly Sounds recommend. stupid. Okay. Yeah, it was dumb. I was oh, watching maybe it. I'll save it for my book <laughs> podcast. I'll never start. <laughs> I was watching Michael Reed falling less and less in love with her every second. Um, <laughs> reading is for fucking dorks and nerds. Uh, now we got to speak ill of the dead. Oh, we got to talk shit about a dead. Do you person. guys have any? Do you ever off, like we do the segments? Oh, I guess you offered the last one. What's a good great hang tip for you? Do you ever do them? I want. Oh yeah, we did. We exhausted ours. You don't have any other ones. Well, we've done a I'm bunch. Trying to Mine learn. was like, like my. Yeah, tip, what's your favorite one? My this is my biggest tip of all is, of, and I've said it a bunch of times, but have if you're gonna have a big party, have at least sixty drinks of your own for like in your cooler for when people come over because people like Jeff Sheen don't bring anything sure. and then they Except just take raw fucking potatoes. Yeah. That's wild. I don't even want to touch that. That's crazy. But, <laughs> but, you just, but you, but create a nice base. That's good. Of drinks. If you're having a party and then people, cause some people bring six drinks, but drink eight, sure. but then other people bring 12 and only drink four. So it kind of works itself out. Say but, more. Say more types of but, people okay. and the amount of drinks <laughs> and then, that they bring. And then sometimes people will bring tall boys, but only drink half of it and then leave it out. Yeah. Anyway. Leave a little boy for the rest of us, you know? If you start your party at about 5 p.m., it'll normally last until 3 a.m., and that's when the last drink gets drank. The thing I like about you is that I think that what you just said, I agree with. That's very yeah. smart. Like, I feel like you are a good person to have at a party who will also inevitably destroy the vibe of the party. You know I, I, mean? I feel like I'm, I don't, I think you're thinking that because our dynamic is that I'm a, such a piece of shit to you. <laughs> Maybe that's it. But, Maybe. That's possible. But, but the other dynamics I have with other people are the same thing and they seem to like it. Now those other people are all white. So that's well, fine. And Max Bruno, Italian person of color. Thank you. <laughs> I'm That's trying fair. to start. He's very tan. I'm, try, I'm tan. trying. I'm starting. Trying to start that Italians are people of color now. They oh. are. They a, want us to do. You it. have to make me think Italians are people first. <laughs> oh, Bleep that, motherfucker! Get this Moulinian. Do you have? <laughs> <laughs> I'm do trying to speak a, their language. Do you have a great hang tip? My my best tip is uh, to test your coke. Let other people do it it's first. Pretty good. These are two. Because <laughs> <laughs> here's the thing: it makes it look like you're being selfless. But at the same time, you're helping yourself. It's an incredible tip. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> That's a tip she's never given That's, on the show before. What's <laughs> great about it is like, I, I really like, like, yeah, you know, testing strips, be safe. You're like, no, no, let somebody else die, yeah. maybe. Yeah. And then, you know, then, you know, it's not good. You just got to wait 10, 15 minutes and you're good. Okay. That's yeah. fair. All right. Now we got to speak ill of the dead. I'll go first. Please. I'm going to speak ill of Orville Rettenbacher. Yeah, okay. The popcorn bitch. bitch. He first of all, you look <laughs> fucking like shit. You're ugly. He's from Valparaiso, Indiana. The only good part about him is that he's from Indiana. Where's a damn bow tie? You gonna wear a bow tie on the box? First of all, put Paul Newman on that damn box. Paul Newman's hot as hell. I only buy Paul Newman products, and they know that, and that's why they sent us a bunch of shit. Newman's own. The only thing I ever like. They actually send you stuff. They yeah. send us so all much right, stuff. I'll, I'll bite my tongue then. <laughs> Go I ahead. love Paul Newman, and I hate Orville Redenbacher, and I think you're ugly. They shouldn't put ugly people on the box. That's why I'm not on the box of anything. So, hey, thank you. You could be on like a generic box. Yeah, <laughs> that is exactly what he is. Like, gen- <laughs> <laughs> Dude, he's like the generic brand boyfriend. <laughs> I'm your boyfriend. 
Mike it's she's like, all, it's all she can I afford met, right now. I met Tim three times before I figured out what his name was. That's fun. Anyways, Orville Redenbacher, <laughs> suck my dick and rest in piss. I hope the devil's butt fucking you in hell. Um, wow. <laughs> did, did you want to go next? or you Probably next. anti-Semitic. Oh, wait. No, yours is probably good. Mine's bad. Uh, Micah didn't have one until I reminded her to get one. Oh, so, so it can't be good? Yeah, probably not. I trust in Micah. I uh, do, too. That's what our money says. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you're getting evicted. You keep paying him, Micah. Mike. You take Micah cash? What the fuck is this? Uh, you're not getting evicted. Okay. What does it have to be a famous? Story? I don't know. I, just don't, want to be, I don't that. want. I don't want the people to be like, oh my god, it are they in trouble and like give you no. money? You it know? can be literally. Be no, no, give us money. It, it can be. No, they're doing fine. No, we're not. Give us money. I'm not. I'm uh, doing fine, and Tim isn't, and that's too untenable. <laughs> yeah, that's right. uh, it can be anybody you want. I've talked shit okay. about my uncles. Yeah. Bobby talks shit about. I think it, somebody Mike could talk shit about a grandma or something. something. Oh, okay. Because yeah, my I grandma's was, a dumb bitch. I was really thinking about my grandmas, but I'll go. I'll go with Mike Leach. You know Mike Leach, the football coach? Yes. Fuck him. Okay, Glad good. He's Fuck gone. you, dog. I got nothing but disdain for him. What did yeah. he do? He died. Yeah. He just died? Was he a bad coach? No, he's a decent coach. Yeah. Bad guy. I don't know. Him, he's just one of those coaches where everyone's like, he's such a character. And then, like, every clip you look at is like, I'm tired of you guys smelling your wife's cunts and coming to practice lazy and fat and slow. I'm like, I don't really understand. He just yells at he yells at people in a way that I was like, if this were real life, I would hurt you. <laughs> but people think, but people are like, I don't know. He's won seven games 12 times, so he's a good football coach. Nah, and fuck him. I'm ready yeah, for him to him. be gone. Mike Leach, rotten piss. Rotten piss. I hope Joe Paterno's fucking you in the mouth in hell. <laughs> you know he's in hell for overlooking all that child stuff. Yeah. We're doing it. We didn't read it. But to, to be fair, he was just role playing that they were all 16. So there's no... <laughs> Oh, like that's a crime. <laughs> that was Kessner a joke. and his thought crimes. That was a joke I got booed off the stage for. I said, uh, I said Jerry Sandusky was in the shower with a child, and they said they heard rhythmic slapping coming from the shower. Rhythmic slapping, no screaming. That child must have had a huge asshole. <laughs> And uh, Tim's special is on YouTube right now. If you <laughs> oh, yeah. Check out my special. Check it it's out. funny how the both of us were like waiting for the punchline <laughs> so patiently. And then it came and went and we were just still sitting there. Yeah. Came and I went never said like the Jerry joke Sandusky. was good. I said I got booed off. Tim, I think that's a valuable insight and definitely <laughs> proves consent. Thank you. Um, I'm going to speak ill of Werner Heisenberg. Oh, boy. The German physicist who discovered the uncertainty present principle for which he got a Nobel Prize in 1932. Listen up, Heisenberg. Yeah. How are you going to fucking earn a Nobel Prize for being uncertain about shit? Yeah. I think if you're going to win a Nobel Prize, you got to be goddamn certain, you dumb piece of shit. That's right. Fuck you and fuck the Nobel Committee they gave it to you. I hope you rest in piss. The only Heisenberg I like wears a fucking hat and is named Walter White. Good point, Tim. I agree. No, no, no. I agree. I agree. I'm with you. I was just thinking... You, you keep telling these people to rest in piss. What if they're into that? Don't you? Then rest in shit, rest you little piss boy. <laughs> then sleep and come, fucker. Oh, oh, I, I, hope you're dry. I hope you're dry as a freaking bone. There you go. I hope you're certain about that dick shoving up your ass for the rest of eternity. <laughs> yeah. I hope you're having fun waiting in line for Satan to butt fuck you. That would be that would be brutal. <laughs> yeah, you got to like, wait in line. You see just Satan butt-fucking all these other people, and you're just like, God, I know he's going to butt-fuck me. It's going to suck, but oh, this line. I know. Line's in hell. Uh, well, that's it. That's it. That's the end of the show. Okay. We did it. Catcher, thank you very much for being on. We just have one final segment. Okay, we're going to do 10 more minutes for the Patreon, so if you guys want to subscribe, <laughs> oh check God. it out. Michael we- says Porch Monkey on it. Bleep that. Uh, yeah. I was I like, know. fuck, did we already do it? My- <laughs> Micah, says it Micah says it with her eyes every episode. Oh, my God. Um, and the notes she writes to me whenever I'm on, I'm on a show with her. <laughs> she tries. I'm like, he's on stage. I'm like texting him. <laughs> he? Oh. <laughs> yeah. Signing off. It's sign offs. We have. You, we all have to do a sign off. You have to do one too. Okay. Yeah. This is you how guys you go. Do off it. All your lead. Yeah. Signing off. It is I, the greatest man that's ever lived. A person who probably has made Micah come once, maybe. A man whose legacy will live on four to seven days after his death. Your Patreon dad. Your free feed best friend, Timothy Grady McLaughlin the second.
Thank you all. And I hope you have a great rest of the day. And signing off, it's me, a woman who thinks having a thought is not a crime. <laughs> Which? <laughs> Which? A, uh, a person who knows their eyes before ease. A woman who hates uncertainty but loves doing cocaine. It is me. <laughs> <laughs> Toe's mom. Timmy's girlfriend. Ben's friend? Could be. Anything's possible. <laughs> Micah Fox. Hey, it's me, Ben. You gotta see signing off. Hey, it's me, Ben, signing off. There we go. Okay, good. In the middle here. Uh... Suck my toes, spit on my back, put your foot in my crack. I love you. Nice. Sexual. Goodbye.